a bubblegum ballad written by Starr has climbed to number 30 on Billboard's list of the top 100 singles. But the biggest promotional push is yet to come. Meet Rick Wefts of Fall River. Starr was struck by this shy 16-year-old whose resemblance to the early Elvis is no accident. I met him in a hallway in, um, in Nashville, New Hampshire. I was at a talent show and he passed by me. Passed by you? He passed by But me. you passed by a lot of people. That's true. But he had a chemistry that hit me inside of me. Oh, I can't, I can't see myself as that, as that star. Just he had a look to me, number one, that I, I thought would be a killer for the girls. I said, how would you like to be a singer? I said, Actually, I said, can you sing? He said, well, not really. I said, can you play guitar? Not really. I say, uh, can you, you ever been on stage before? You know, modeling, but not performing. I say, perfect. What's so perfect about a kid who can't sing or dance? It gives Maurice a chance to make his mark, to put his troops through basic training and claim credit when they earn their stripes. You have a new name for yourself? A new nickname, but actually it's a name. Uh, it's the general. I'm having uniforms made. I will have a general's hat, but it will be, instead of, uh, just stripes, it may be stars. I'll be the first 10 star general. And um, so when I bring my acts out, like Perfect Gentleman, Rick West, and New Kids, you will see the general there. This is Marie Star's revenge on the record industry. All these people who, who basically said, I'm Marie Star, you had your shot, you're over. New Kids gives them a chance to put it right in their face. And this whole talk we talk about formula all the time. I mean, it's really, you know, Maurice's ego saying, look, I proved I could do this a long time ago, and it still works 10 years later or so. There are two sides to where we start that I see. Uh, the first side is I see the man wants to be successful. Uh, and he's got that formula for success. I think he's a caring, hard, working, wonderful person. And I think the luckiest day in his life is when new kids walk into it. And the same goes for them. It's changed my life, you know, forever, you know. He, he brought what was inside of me out, and, you know, I'm forever grateful to him for that. I think there's a more music-oriented Maurice song. Uh, the one that I knew who was writing the songs uh, in the uh, 70s. Uh, once you get the money, you can take some chances. Once you, not only the money, once you get the status. This Maurice, I think, will come out uh, in a couple of years, and we're going to see a more innovative Maurice start. Right here. You thought you were a cute, but you were a very nice. Oh, yeah. You're a bad, bad, bad little girl. I want all the hooks. Okay, bad little girl. And if you just do exactly what you got there, well, then we got to smash. You walk around the world. Okay, okay. Of course, we've read all kinds of reports about how the popularity of the new kids on the block is supposedly fading now with all the controversy about brawls and things like that, but you wouldn't know it from the three sold out concerts at the Worcester Centrum this yeah, week. On some level, you know, any publicity helps. They, they certainly, one way or another, they're still uh, in the newspaper a lot and getting, getting a lot of play. So. I'm sure Maurice Starr will make sure they get a well, lot more mileage before they're with, done. I'm sure he would prefer it's a little more favorable to some of the things <laughs> that have been happening. Probably so. Well, coming up here on Our Times, a return to Spring Lake Ranch. Now,